Um, hey guys, I uh, hope you're well. So today we're going to look at uh, printing a calendar uh, using Python and uh, the calendar module. Okay, cool. So on a side note, guys, um, I'd really appreciate it if you do subscribe to my channel. So if you do like what you see, uh, please do subscribe. Okay, cool. So let's get started. So from calendar, then import, and then we'll start. Okay. Um, so what I need to do now is uh, create a function. So def, then year, then x, which would be um, an integer, okay? And then um, print calendar, okay? Then x will represent the year, and then I'll put three. So three will be three characters. So for Monday, it's gonna be M-O-N and so forth. Okay, cool. And then uh, one, which would be one line row each for each week. Okay, and then um, eight, which is gonna be uh, eight rows for each month. And then uh, three columns for the month. Okay, cool, right. So we'll start off by uh, the year 2023, the year we're in now. So year, and then 2023. There we are. So so there we are, so the three, obviously, like I said, that three is the three characters there. And then the one, obviously, one uh, one row for each week, okay? And then uh, the eight rows for each month as well. And then the three, three columns, okay? Cool. Okay, uh, I can always change that as well. I can do it in a different way. So I can say year uh, equals int input. Okay, and my string, uh, please enter the year. Right. Okay, cool. Um, so we're gonna go 2022. So we'll go from last year, right? And then uh, print calendar. Uh, year. Okay, and then I'm gonna go two one eight, two one eight, and then uh, three, just with three columns as well. Right, so there we are. So obviously, uh, that two obviously is changed that to two characters or two letters for each day of the week and so forth, and the three columns will stay the same as well, right? So um, I prefer using the formula, uh, creating your own formula. So you can just do year, and then if I wanna see nineteen. 56 which is way before my time there we are so there was 1956 okay and any other year so yeah um let's say 1901 there we are okay so it, it just gives you random um you can create random uh, years and stuff here so yeah um 2017 right there you go cool so I think that's easier, just creating your own formula, then just kind of work with it, you know. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, but creating your formula is just easier, so you don't have to type a lot. Okay, cool. So hopefully this was helpful, guys, and uh, if you like what you see again, please do subscribe, and have a lovely day. Cheers, bye-bye.